Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you what I keep in my backpack for my senior year of high school. Let's start with this bigger pocket first. I have my pencil case, which has a friendship bracelet that I'm currently making attached to it. I know, I'm such a visco girl. Sk -sk 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 -sk. I, can't, I can't produce that noise, but if you'd like to see more about what is in my pencil case, I will have a video about that linked in the cards and in the description. Next, I have my calculator, which is in a little pencil case for my calculator. And this is the calculator that I have. It's a TI 84 plus CE. Next, I have this expanding file folder, which you might have seen in a very old back to school haul. And this folder contains all of the papers that I use for class. The way I have the tabs organized are by period numbers from one through six, plus tabs for different types of paper. Most of these tabs have fallen off right now, but you know, that's fine. I know what's in each pocket and that's what matters. Can you hear the dog barking outside? The last tab, which is just called Other, contains um, forms and things that aren't related to a particular class. They just are given to me by the school as an entity, not by a particular teacher. I also have my bullet journal, which is the planning system that I use. If you'd like to learn more about bullet journaling, you can pre-order my new book, Study With Me, which is a guide to bullet journaling especially designed for students. I'll have more information linked in the description, and I will also of course link my free videos about bullet journaling in case you just aren't interested in buying the book. Next I have this portfolio organizer thing that I use as a laptop case. And in the front pocket, I have all of the notebooks that I use for class. So let's go through these really quickly in case you didn't see them in my back to school haul for this school year, which I'll also link in the cards and description. Look at me getting the self promo in. First, we've got this lined campus notebook, which I use for French. Can you see any of the pages or is this all washed out? Next, this smaller notebook from Oh Dear, which I use for yearbook. The pages are half lined and half blank, so I use this to sketch ideas and to jot down notes. Next, I have two of these Kokoyu Smart Campus Notebooks, which are quite thin, small notebooks for my semester-long classes. So this green one is for econ, since, you know, green is money. And this blue one is for intro to psychology. And lastly, I have this Kokuyo Soft Ring Grid Notebook, which I use for AP Statistics. As you can see, I generally prefer glue-bound or thread-bound notebooks like these, rather than those with rings like this one. But this one has soft, squishy rings that are bendy and won't mess things up inside my backpack, which is why I'm okay with the Kokoyo Soft Ring Notebooks. And of course, as I previously mentioned, this portfolio thingy also usually contains my laptop inside of it. Right now, my laptop is not currently inside of this because I'm using my laptop to help film this video, but we're gonna pretend it's in here. You see the laptop, right? It's there. And the last thing in this larger pocket is this red neoprene envelope, which contains my Kindle, which is currently out of battery. I use this to read books for fun, not often as I would like to, but I do have it with me in case I have some free time during the school day. This is a rather unfortunate filming angle for my weak little arms, but in this pocket, I have my wallet. I have this cute little silicone cat case for my earbuds. Inside this pocket, earbuds. And then this little stand thing here is a stand for your phone. Next are my lanyard with my keys on it. I don't drive, so it's just the key to my house. And in this plastic sleeve, I've got my yearbook 
badge and press pass and my bus card in the back. Go Ravenclaw. I have this cute little whale bag also from Oh Dear. It's from one of their paper gang boxes. And in this bag, I have some food related items. So I have some lactates because I am lactose intolerant. And I've also got two metal boba straws. I gotta reach that Visco girl status. <laughs> Aside from the whole trend being made fun of aspect, it is really good to reduce how much you use single use plastics. So if Visco girls are gonna use them reusable water bottles and reusable straws, I say go for it. I also have two different lip balms. I just use a lot of lip balm because my lips are always dry. So I have a regular one, original flavor, smell, original beeswax lip balm, and this tinted one in a peachy corally color. And the last thing in here are my wireless earbuds from Studio. I mostly use these when I'm biking to and from school since the wires don't get tangled up in my helmet. The last essential item that I take with me every day, although I don't keep it in my backpack, is my reusable water bottle. I've covered it in a lot of new stickers since you last saw it in my 2018 What's in My Backpack video, and I also got a new lid for it. This is a Hydro Flask lid that costs the same amount as my entire bottle. My old lid got really moldy and disgusting, so... I got a new one and I learned how to clean a lid properly so it doesn't get moldy and disgusting. I hope you found this video helpful and if you'd like to see my older What's in My Backpack videos, I will link them in the description. I upload new videos every Monday and my Instagram is at studyquill if you'd like to see photos of my notes and bullet journal. See you next time!